To this day, I still see so many people do either not enough or too much volume in their programs. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how many sets to do to optimize muscle growth. Wagwan, we back, representing Wolf Coaching, soon to be Dr. Milo Wolf here. Bit of an allergy impression for you people, you know, you're welcome. Today, we're talking about volume. Let's break down the science. First, a 2017 meta-analysis by Schoenfeld and colleagues revealed a positive relationship between weekly volume, how many sets you do per week for a given muscle, and hypertrophy. Importantly, and remember this, one study was excluded during sensitivity analysis because it was deemed very influential, and that's a study by Radeli and colleagues back in 2015. Depending on whether or not this study was included in the analysis, the results changed pretty significantly. However, regardless of whether or not this study was included, there was still a positive relationship between how much volume you did and hypertrophy, all the way to at least 10 or more sets per week per muscle group. This was back in 2017, however. Since then, there's been a more recent meta-analysis. Due to differences in inclusion criteria, in other words, which studies were included, almost none of the studies that were included in Schoenfeld's meta-analysis were then included in Basval's meta-analysis. Specifically, the only study that carried over was actually the study I mentioned earlier by Radeli and colleagues, which generally favored higher volumes quite substantially. Well, what did this new meta-analysis by Basval and colleagues find? For analysis sake, they dichotomized approaches into being either low volume, or more importantly, moderate volume or high volume. Moderate volume referred to 12 to 20 sets per week per muscle group, and high volume referred to 20 or more sets per week per muscle group. When comparing growth between a moderate volume and a high volume approach, there were no significant differences across several studies for the quads or for the biceps, but there was a significant difference in favor of higher volumes above 20 sets for the triceps. Importantly, for all three of these muscle groups, the effect sizes leaned in favor of the higher volume approach. Well, case closed. Does that mean you should just do at least 20 sets per week per muscle group? Well, not so fast. There are some important limitations and assumptions built into these volume studies and these meta-analyses to consider. First, many of the studies comparing, say, a lower volume approach to a higher volume approach include pretty short rest times. As I discussed in this video here, resting for less time between sets generally lowers the effectiveness of each individual set. So in these volume studies, they're often resting for say 60 to 120 seconds between sets, which means each set becomes a lot less effective than it would be if you say rested for two to five minutes between sets. Secondly, how you count the number of sets per week per muscle group really matters. In these studies, the way these sets were counted included indirect or compound work. In other words, the bench would count one set of bench as one set for the chest, one set for the triceps, and one set for the front delts. As opposed to, for example, only counting for the muscle group it trains best, like the chest. It's important to contextualize these numbers before we go further. Because of low rest times and including indirect work, something like 20 sets or more, or let's say 20 sets, might be the equivalent of about 8 to 12 hard sets with 2 to 5 minutes of rest when you're only counting a given exercise for one muscle group not counting indirect work. Here's the final consideration. The increases in muscle size or muscle hypertrophy seen with higher volumes are actually relatively small. In the Schoenfeld analysis, going from five to nine sets per week to 10 or more sets per week barely increased growth. In the Basval analysis, going from 12 to 20 sets per week to 20 or more sets per week increased growth only for the triceps, not for the biceps or for the quadriceps although effect sizes did always lean in favor of the higher volume group doing at least 20 sets per week. That being said, these effect sizes and the Basval analysis in favor of the higher volume stuff were generally trivial to moderate between 0.1 and 0.5. Compare these effect sizes to some of the effect sizes seen in other areas. For example, the recent series of meta-analyses on training to failure. Since the meta-analysis on failure didn't dichotomize approaches into either training to failure or not training to failure, and then perform that type of analysis, let's focus on comparing the meta-analysis on failure to the meta-analysis by Schoenfeld and colleagues, where they viewed the number of sets performed per week as a continuous variable, rather than dichotomizing approaches. Basically, let's compare apples to apples. In the meta-analysis on failure by Robinson and colleagues, going from about five reps from failure all the way to failure 
roughly double the growth participants saw per set. On the other hand, in this meta-analysis by Schoenfeld and colleagues, going from five to nine sets per week to 10 or more sets per week, or doing twice the number of sets essentially, only increased growth by about 50%. So while doing more volume absolutely seems to increase hypertrophy, it may be the case that just training closer to failure increases the hypertrophy to a greater extent than simply just doing more sets. But enough about the science. You came here wanting recommendations of how many sets to do per week. For these recommendations I'm about to give, I'll make one assumption. I'll assume you're only counting direct work. So four sets of bench, for example, wouldn't count as four sets for your chest, for your triceps and for your front delts, but rather only as four sets for your chest. If you're relatively new to training, start with about five to 12 sets per week per muscle group. If you've been training for a while, start with about 10 to 15 sets per week per muscle group. For muscle growth, prioritize going closer to failure over doing more and more sets. Specifically, prioritize going say to about two reps in reserve on your first set for an exercise to all the way to failure by the last set, where it's safe, over say doing more than 20 sets per week. If you're meeting these recommendations for how many sets per week to do, training pretty close to failure, and you're still recovering just fine, you know, you're not getting excessively sore going from one session into the next, your performance is generally improving week to week. In that case, you can experiment with adding say a couple of sets per week to a muscle group. If for example, your chest isn't really getting sore anymore that much and your performance is steadily climbing, you can try adding a couple sets spread out across the week and see how you recover, but monitor recovery closely. Anyways, that is the video, breaking down all the latest science on volume, how many sets a week you should do. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. It is like 8 p.m. on Wednesday. Please appreciate the grind, support the channel. If you wanna see any other videos, please leave a comment down below letting me know. And I'll see you guys in that next one. Peace. Let me do it again. I'm trying a bit of a Ali G impression, you know? Do I go for Buya Shaka on them, you know? Cause they don't make me fucking smack you up right now, you feel me? Do you know what I mean, Lloyd?